What you got there? It's a school project. I had to make a light, powered by a battery, but I just can't get it to work. Mm. I had a look at it and everything seems to be okay. It's a brand new battery and the little wire thing inside the light bulb isn't broken. The filament. The filler what? The filament. That's what the little wire inside the light bulb is called. How did you know that? My dad told me. I also knew that. Yeah, that. <laughs> well, why don't you put it down on the table and let's see what's wrong with it. Um, oh, that seems to be your problem. What is it? Well, in order for the light to work, this needs to be an electrical circuit. Circuit? Mm. What's a circuit? Well, let's ask the wise old tree to explain. Hello, everyone. Now, let me think about this. Um, well, circuit comes from the word circle. For any electrical equipment, kettles, toasters, light bulbs to work, they have to be part of a circuit, which goes from the power source through the kettle, for example, and back to the power source. If the circuit is broken anyway, then the appliance won't work. So, do you now know what a circuit is? Yes, Chef Jeff. Good. So, how does light need to be connected to a circuit to work? Mm. How do we do that, Chef Jeff? Well, let's undo this wire over here. Great, thanks, Harry. Harry, why did you use so much wire? It was the only piece that I was fine and I was too scared to cut it. <laughs> why were you scared to cut it? In case it gave me a shock. How could you get shocked? The, the wire wasn't attached to anything. Hey, how was I supposed to know that? <laughs> it doesn't matter. This long wire will come in handy when we make the uh, electrical circuit. Shall we get started? Yes, yes. Chef Jeff. <laughs> what, what? Huh? What are they talking about? What's a circuit? It's round, but where does it go? What is this bar that Harry's got? What, what? Is it a piece of art? Is it supposed to hang on the wall? What, what? There we are. And now the circuit is almost complete. All we have to do is attach this end of the wire to the light bulb over here, and the light should work. Can I do it? Yeah, OK. Just be careful that you don't rip it off. <laughs> ha ha. <gasps> Check it out. Oh, that's really cool and really easy to do. Yes, it is. If there was a break in the circuit, I guess it would be called open. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it wouldn't really be a circuit, would it? No. Mm. Hey! Marvin! Yeah? Where did you put the kettle that Grandma Meerkat gave us? Well, I put it in the kitchen. Why? I feel like boiling some water and making some tea. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. You want a cup of tea. And so you're taking the kettle into your kitchen to make one. That's right, Mevin. You see, I'm cleverer than you think. <laughs> you are? Really? Yeah. Just one thing, Marvin. Mm -hmm. Why did you think we had the kettle sitting in the lounge with the candle sticking out of it? So we could have some light in the lounge. True. And why do we need a candle in the lounge, Marvin? Because we don't have electric light. Because we don't have a what? An electricity light, Marvin. Because we don't have electric light. Yeah. Do you see the problem, Marvin? Mm, no. How are you going to make boiling water with a kettle when, the, when we don't have electricity? I wasn't going to use the kettle, Marvin, okay? I was going to use the candle to heat some water. I see. Gee, yay! Marvin, you must think I'm really dumb, eh? Mm. Hey. So, is an electric circuit an energy system? Oh, yes, it is. In an electric circuit, energy flows from one part of the energy system to another, to another, to another, another, another. <laughs> Do you remember our visit to the power station? Yes, it was great. All those huge generators. 
Yes, and the power plant makes the electricity, which is fed along huge power lines to the substations and then to your houses. All these different parts make up an energy system. What does a substation do? Well, the electricity that comes from the power station is not the kind of electricity that can make a kettle or, or that sort of thing work. We need to turn it into a form of electricity that we can use, and that's what substations do. Can electricity travel along anything? You get what are called conductors. These are materials which allow electricity to flow through them. Uh, but not everything is a conductor. How do we know what a conductor is? Hmm, well, I suppose we could test things. I know. Why don't we get different things and attach them to the wire and the battery? Oh. That's a great idea. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sabeda, let's use your plastic spoon first. Do you want to try? Attach it. Attach it to the wire. Good stuff. And then we're going to attach it to the globe and see if it works. Ah, do you see any lights? No, no. lights, no lights. Okay, so plastic is do not mind, a conductor. Let's try the wooden spoon. We attach it to the one side and we put the other side onto the globe. Mm. No, wood is not a conductor either. You want to try yours? Yeah. There we go. Put the metal spoon. See, it's yeah. working. So, so metal is a conductor. It looks like metal can conduct electricity, but wood and plastic can't. But if plastic isn't a conductor, then why is the wires covered in it? For that exact reason. If you had to touch the like bare wire that is conducting the electricity, it would flow into your body and you would get a shock. Oh, I see. Plastic doesn't conduct the electricity. So you can pick up the electrical wires without getting a shock. Well, that's right. Plastic is an insulator. It prevents the electricity from leaking out. Can my battery give you an electric shock? Not really. It holds such little power. It's not the same as the electricity that comes from the substations. Is it a piece of art to hang on the wall? It's called an electrical circuit and it shows how electricity goes round. The electricity goes from the battery through the wire to the little light bulb. And if any part of this is not working, then the circuit is broken. What, what? Yes! Well, now you know what electrical circuits and conductors are. But you must always remember that even though you can't see the electricity, when you switch something on, it will be there and needs to be treated with respect and care. Bye for now. Bye.